This is the time Elizabeth Edwards prepared her family for, leaving her children a letter filled with life advice on everything from how to pick a church and even pick a spouse. Edwards always found a way to persevere through the loss of a child, a cancer diagnosis, and the betrayal of her husband. The day after her death, she is being called an inspiration to women. Edwards died at her home in Chapel Hill, North Carolina yesterday, surrounded by her family and close friends. Edwards became a popular figure on the campaign trail during her husband's VP and presidential runs. She was open about her lifelong grief over the death of her son Wade and her bouts with breast cancer. Throughout, she refused to stop living. And here in Denver, Andy Boyne worked with them on policy strategy for the Edwards campaign. He remembers Elizabeth's intelligence, determination, courage, and maternal instincts. The word that comes to mind is courage. Um, there aren't enough female strong leaders in this country that um, teach young girls, young people that the impossible is possible. And I think she uh, intrinsically embodied uh, that ideal uh, of, you know, you can do anything, you can be anything, you can overcome anything. I hope I have important things to say, uh, important support to give other people who are going through things uh, um, as everybody does. And if you're going to make that tomorrow count, you have to um, buck up today. A memorial service for Elizabeth Edwards will be open to the public on Saturday in Raleigh, North Carolina. The family is asking that donations be made to the Wade Edwards Foundation that was created to honor the life of Wade, her son who died in a car crash at 16.